Hi, welcome back to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at a problem from the 2007 AMC 12. Uh, I like this particular problem because it involves a few different tricky aspects that often crop up in other integer equation problems. But otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. So uh, let's see what we have here. So we have A, B, C, D, and E are distinct integers such that this product is equal to 45. And we're trying to solve for the sum A through E. So as an initial survey of the problem, we just have to remind ourselves we're dealing with distinct integers, integers positive and negative. Uh, we have five unknowns and one equation, so that's quite a large disparity, a little more than what we're used to in these types of problems. Um, the good news is we're not trying to solve for each of these variables individually. We're just trying to solve for their sum. And the good news there is that uh, we don't have to necessarily assign A, B, and C uniquely uh, if we can just assign them as some permutation, then if B and C get swapped, or for instance D and E get swapped, it doesn't matter because the sum is insensitive to any swaps in uh, the, uh, the variables. So that, that'll come in handy. So the first thing we want to do, of course, in these problems, if we encounter a number, we always want to uh, break it down to its prime factorization. And we notice that uh, 3 squared times 5 gives us perhaps three different factors. So it appears as though at first we're kind of starved for factors. We have what looks like three factors on the right and five possible factors on the left. Uh, so we have to look for ways to increase the number of factors on the right. And one of the first methods that, of course, we want to take advantage of is the fact that uh, we could have a factor of 1 on the, uh, the right side as well. Um, and then at this point, we may notice that uh, we have a problem with 3, because 3 is a duplicate on the right. Uh, any duplicate on the right would imply that uh, you know, any variable that we assign to this factor, 3 times 3, would imply that, say, b and c are equal. And that's, that's not the case. They have to be distinct integers. So some way, some way we have to modify the factor string on the right so that we don't have duplicate factors. So that's kind of where it occurs to us, probably, that we have to introduce negative signs somewhere in this factor string to break up the duplicate factor of 3 times 3. And then we have to balance that with uh, some other negative sign in order to create a positive factor of 45. And at that point, it may occur to you that, well, we can just make this a negative 1 to balance out for the negative 3, and then go ahead and add another 1, positive 1, to... Uh, to make up for the, the fact that we just lost one there. OK, so that, that gives us five factors on the right now. And it appears as though that factor assignment is unique, because there's really no other way that we could sprinkle another negative sign in here. Uh, we'd have to in sprinkle two negative signs. Um, and so it seems as though uh, a sprinkling of just two negative signs is, is exactly what we need in order to uh, create five distinct factors on the right-hand side. Now, once we've done that, we see that we can assign these factors to the individual factor groups on the left. And as I said, it doesn't really matter how we assign them because the sum is not sensitive to the order or the arrangement of the assignment. So let's go ahead and do that. So we assign 6 minus a to plus 1, uh, 6 minus b to minus 1, 6 minus c to minus 3, and 6 minus d to plus 3, and 6 minus e to plus 5. Now at this point, you could actually solve for a, b, c, d individually, add them up. You may uh, notice that there's kind of a, a shortcut here where we could just add up these equations. And let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so 5 times 6 is 30, minus uh, the sum a plus b plus c plus d plus e is equal to the sum of the uh, numbers on the right side. Uh, 1's cancel, 3's cancel, you're left with 5. And so this quickly leads you to the conclusion that the sum we're looking for uh, is equal to uh, 30 minus 5, which is equal to 25, and that is choice C. Anyway, hope that helped. Bye-bye.